I know he loves ultimate as well. I don't believe he entered though. Oh really? Yeah, I think no he said he just wanted to focus on uh, melee. Uh, his 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 baby man. Which is understandable. I for mean, sure. This is definitely a oh. big a big event for melee. All right, so, so game number one between Sandbag and Port Chop sixty one. Sandbag with something we don't see too often. I'm very excited to see this Ice Climbers known to be a very potent character throughout Smash games in Melee because of their wobbles and obviously in every other game because of their desyncs. But in Brawl they were a top contender. This game we really don't see them too much mainly because I feel like a lot of Ice Climbers players complain about Nana's uh, AI. But I mean, still, when Nana wants to do work, <laughs> yeah. these these characters they're, they're are nuts. scary. Yeah, they're they're, ter they're terrifying. A, ho a horrifying combo that can just really destroy anyone at zero percent. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. He grabbed Nana. That's yeah, right. Yeah, right. yeah. Forward smash for it, man. You got to be really careful. And sometimes it's it's a little bit hard. I mean, you, you get that grab. They're both standing next to each other. You're not really sure which one you're gonna get. But the, usually the main game plan against ice climbers uh, is to separate. Nana and Popo, and really like go in on Nana, defeat Nana, and then fight Sopo, right? Yeah, but in this game, you want to be grabbing Popo because if you grab Nana, guess what? Popo can just retaliate. But if you grab Popo, Nana freaks out. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I think the skin that Sandbag's wearing right now, he's actually got control of Nana versus oh, Popo. Okay. Well, they're both gone, so now let's go ahead and get on our second stock. And 135 already on Pork Chop. 135 is. Definitely got a big deficit to make up for here. That backer is going to send him flying off stage. The Iceberg Snipe, not going to be enough. Uh, Bowser does have a pretty good recovery. You do have to mash towards the end of that up special to get the full height. Uh, but Pork Chop definitely knows how to do that. Oh! Yeah, he got frozen a couple so times much there. But another up B out of shield. Such a great tool for Bowser. He's had it for quite a while. Oh, so much damage! 100% and with... The damage that Sandbag has done already, Porkchop, he brought this all the way back. He's going to fight a solo Nana right here. Got the parry. Oh, yeah, that's one of the unfortunate things about that character is if you don't have your partner right there, your puppet, you, you have a very lacking recovery. Otherwise, it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, but, I mean, as you can see, uh, Sandbag able to clean up that stock as well. Both these players keeping it fairly even in terms of the stock counts and percents. One will start to take a lead as we start seeing, but now that Porkchop's kind of at that mid percent, we're going to see him starting to answer back. For sure, he's got the grab on Popo. Another answer back with Nana F Smash. you got to be really careful. He's going to want to actively try to grab the red Ice Climber in, in this scenario if he doesn't want to get punished for actually getting a punish on his opponent, right? Like, That's right. Oof. But the double up smash yeah. from Sandbag going to clean up game one. Yeah, that's got tons of knockback, as you can see. I mean, Bowser, one of the heavier characters in this game, not even going to be able to survive to that um, against the character here. On Pokemon Stadium 2 as well, the uh, top blast zone is a little bit lower, so something to keep in mind for uh, Porkchop. He might want to actually go to a bigger stage, such as Kalos, that is, if Pork uh, Sandbag doesn't ban that outright. Yeah. I mean, uh, Battlefield's a pretty good if choice, I'm Park too. Chop, I'm thinking about Town and City. Yeah, for just, sure. Just because, you know, it has the biggest blast zone. Sure. He's heavy, so, you know, that ex little bit extra distance is going to go a little bit farther for him rather than the Ice Climbers. For sure. Ba Battlefield, also not a bad choice. Definitely bigger blast zones than some of the other stages. I and mean, he can do a lot of pressure on the platforms. If he's got uh, the Ice Climbers on the platforms, he can pressure with up tilts, up smash. Uh, he's got a whole range of tools. Not Ooh. to mention he can he can extend his uh just the kill percents on his uh, command grab. Oh sure, yeah. If he gets a grab on the platform, or even just a nair. Of course, nair is like the 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 no, the shining thing. And before in Smash Four, it was all about the grab into the up air, but now it's all about nair into your imagination, similar to the Ike. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, Ike's at forty-seven. Well, well, while Sandbag, Ouch. well, while Porkchop was trying to recover, Sandbag, um, I don't know why, but the the AI climber uh side to air dodge and just kind of left oh, no. on his own oh but no <laughs> back to even all right yeah answering right back two stock game i'll call that a homie stock <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> let's, let's do that <laughs> pseudo homie stock at that point like neither player can feel too bad it's like he already has d well i is d well it's like all right well now now we're evenly matched yeah 
Here's that Nair, but he didn't actually follow up with anything. He could, definitely could have thrown a back air. It would have been, like, guaranteed. And there's that extension of the command grab. He's going to... Porktop's going to try and utilize that top platform, especially jumping up so high. And another up B out of shield, getting a lot of mileage out of that. Yeah, Bowser definitely not going to do anything about that move. Uh-oh, Nana air dodging again, dude. What that's what we're talking about. What is with this Ooh. Ice Climber? If anyone's watching this set specifically, they're definitely convinced that Ice Climbers are trash, bro. <laughs> they're like, oh, I'm definitely dumb picking that character. I don't know. Did you see that ladder <laughs> coming out from Sandbag? That was 83 <laughs> damage sure, dude. in a matter of seconds. I mean... That was like four up airs. Still terrifying, for sure. <laughs> and, and, and solo, solo, popo, solo, Nana. Not Sona? like... Yeah, Sona. <laughs> yeah, people got mad when I said that, man. What? Why? <laughs> Sona! <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so trying to strike the landing, but uh, Porkchop able to land back on the stage. With a big charge, but good get up, and now we see Sandbag really trying to smother Porkchop. It's only one big good hit away from taking away the stock and evening it up the percents and stocks. Okay, great up special right there. Ooh, Ooh. and he decides to attack the uh, single climber. That uh, is how you should be dealing with this matchup. And Porkchop already with a really big lead. At this percentage, he might even be able to convert into the kill with the neutral air. But I haven't seen too much of that from him so far. Just mostly raw reads in the neutral. A lot of just, like, hard punishes. Oh, oh yo! What yo! That? What? He got punished for getting a grab! A command grab in this case, which would have actually... Like, might have killed with oh, that much rage. would have killed with that much rage, but, you know, Popo coming in, finally making some moves. Working for his man, Sandbag, and saving him, keeping him in the game. Oh, just trapped him by the ledge with the flame breath, and then using the forward tilt to get the KO. That's going to be 1-1 one to one now as Porkchop takes that second game. Hey, we're going to get a game three here. I love it. I'd like to see it. Yeah, well, now it's going to be uh, Sandbag's counterpick, and wow. Interesting enough that he's picking the higher ceiling uh, to, to combat Porkchop. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, who knows? Maybe he's not aware. Maybe he just wants to... The other thing is that, you know, we're talking about these stages, Town and City and Kalos. Did, we, did he pick Kalos or Town and City? Kalos. It is a very wide stage, so... Um, Sandbag is going to have a lot more freedom to move around on this stage. So that may be his game plan right here. Maybe he's going to have to kill a little bit later. But we've seen the 80% combos or strings that Ice Climber has. He's already got 73%. So he's probably confident that he can make up the damage he needs to get the KOs on this stage. Well, not having access to platforms has definitely hurt Porkchop. Really having difficulty just landing on the ground. And Sandbag doing a great job of striking. Another back air connects for Sandbag. And now here come the ledge traps. He's using a lot of the ice moves at these ledges to try and keep Porkchop in the ledge, but wow. Yeah, just really. Kind of baited him in that time. Really unsafe uh, down air coming out from Porkchop. Sandbag just going to sit and shield and punish with a forward smash. Uh, and it's looking like the counter pick is working out for him right Oh, 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 yeah, he grabbed the wrong ice climber again. Yeah, but even then, Sandbag wasn't really able to punish. By the time he threw out an attack, uh, he had the throw. Porkchop had the throw in throw ability, so it did like yeah. nothing. Yeah, not only that, but it has hit uh -oh. like active uh -oh. hitboxes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Zero to 50, but I thought we were I thought we were about to see some Twitter combos here live on uh, at the Bingo. I want to see at least one. Come on, Sandbag, give it to me. You know, no bias. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see some Twitter combos. See someone get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up tilt. I, you can tell that Sandbag's going for the up tilt desync. Yeah. Man, he's gotten it a couple times. Yeah, also going for a lot of back airs in neutral. He's got some uh, neutral base desyncs with the up air and the back air. Uh, any of his aerials, really. Back air's a good one because you can kind of like space away from him as, as uh, you're, you keep yourself safe. Right, right. Oh, oh that yeah. shield, dude, that's crazy. Okay, so that's why we keep seeing sandbag <laughs> use that uh, down B, throwing out all the ice. And that's crazy because it's like if you get it to, if the ice climbers to desync that move, you can do it like, you know, one after another, jump into it, and you That's can true. really break someone's shield. Definitely, you didn't get a shield break, you would definitely get a shield poke. Yeah. Which could also set up, because it does put him in that icicle animation. Oh, 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 oh what is this? Oh, is that the KO? Not enough. 
And both the ice climbers are still alive. Nana, what are you doing? Popo, get get over <laughs> to her! Get <laughs> over there! <laughs> what is going on, dog? <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay. That time the down air will be fruitful and get the KO. Porkchop taking a 2-1 victory here. Yeah, two stock in game three. And look at that. The oh, homies coming yeah, in to help his buddies. boy pop off. Always, always nice to get supported. For sure. Especially when your homies are in attendance. That's awesome. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the matches so far. We're here at the Mango. This is wave one of pools. We had doubles just before that. I believe doubles are still continuing. And we'll be coming back to the stream a little bit later. Yeah, we're um, going to end the stream tonight with doubles. Yeah, six. there you go. So if you're a big fan of doubles, come back a little bit later. Uh, I know I'm going to be on the mic on the BTS channel. Um, I believe Korean and someone else are doing it here. I can't remember. I think it was uh, Korean and uh, I felt like it was EE. -E. Uh, oh, is that tomorrow? tomorrow? That's yeah. Tomorrow, that's tomorrow. Surprise! Korean tomorrow. My bad. It wasn't a secret or anything. <laughs> oh yeah, I was like, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Uh, I think it's Korean and Sedge then for doubles top six. Sounds about right. I think I'm with Sedge. Dang, then it's it's Korean and Strides. It's the only the only other outcome I, I can I can see happening. <laughs> Who else is here? The point is <laughs> for double stocks top six on both streams, you're gonna have four very talented commentators casting right. the matches for you guys. So that's all that matters. Yeah, so be sure to come back later. I think it's Ooh. scheduled for about six o'clock. Okay. Um, and that's when the doubles action will continue. But for now, we have Talen Talendoman. I think ten it's ten old, old men. men. Yeah, ten old men. I don't know why that's a tag. <laughs> Versus Soul. Soul is actually the number three seed in this pool. I believe he mains uh, Ridley. Did he pick Ridley? Yeah, he picked he Ridley. Um, I believe he's from UCI. I know he's a college student at the very least. Yeah, Prime Saga. I don't know. Good question. Hmm. I'm sure he was there. Hmm. Hmm. But uh, talented Ridley, man. I, it's been a while since I've seen him. But let's see what I get. I, I want to see some skiers. The first time I ever saw Soul. It was like pretty early in the game. He got three skiers in a row on, oh, on Nico. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that. Was, so he's the. Ridley. He's the guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, let, let's see if he had a moment it. in the spotlight. But Ike, man, a really strong character in this meta as well. Uh, very neutral heavy, and I mean that like literally. He uses neutral air a lot, and oh. neutral air is going to be converting into every single one of his aerials. Oh, but Soul not even going to give him the chance to do that. Already taking the first stock with an up smash. Only 49% on himself. Yeah, and 10 old men looking a little a little confused at the moment. You know, usually we see Ike's really controlling the pace of the yeah. matches. Especially with the spacing that they put out with their back airs and their nair. But right now, Soul is just uh, really not giving 10 old men any room to breathe. Yeah, he's going to want to be very careful with those high recoveries. Because you could see uh, Soul threatening with that forward tilt. He's doing it again. And uh, Soul just carefully spacing himself. Yeah, even spacing out the F-tilts perfectly. Just misspaced, uh, mistimed it a little bit. Getting so much success with these neutral airs out of shield. Very, uh, it's similar to Clouds in Smash 4. Has similar range. It starts behind them, goes all around. Comes out very quick. And you can chain a couple of those across the stage, especially at lower percents. Here comes the fireball. Really good edge guard. That's it, man. He's gone. Ten old men down to his last life. Or their last life? I don't know. It's ten old men. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> and we'll have to ask them or him a little bit later on. But Nair lands. And now we're going to see... Oh, going for the tech chase with a down smash. Soul not going to be able to get that just yet. Uh, I think we're going to see at least one down special in this set, man. I don't know. We don't might not see. need it. <laughs> We don't really see Soul going for grabs outside of command grabs. Oh, okay, okay. But a raw one, man. He could go for a raw one. The re he went for Woo! a raw down B. He's the man. He's <laughs> that is all the confidence in the world. All right, but ten old men finally getting a stock here. Maybe signs of life. He's at 106 percent. Big mountain to climb. Definitely not outside of the realm of possibility for an Ike. Oh, but you got a mash when you get yeah. that. When you get grabbed like that, and he's. Ridley starts dragging. You have to. Oh, he's dead. And why? Why go for skewers when you can just, uh, you know, push your opponent off with fireball a little yeah. bit. Just give him a little bit of nudge. <coughs> say, you know what? That's all you need. The the uh, mecha the mechanic for the space pirate rush, which is uh, Ridley's side special, is very interesting because it's all dependent on the like the the mashing threshold, like how easily you can mash out of that, depends on the percent 
differential between you and uh, your opponent. So if yeah, at that percent, like with um, 10 old men at such a high percent, I don't think he could have mashed out of it. That was like almost a guaranteed like drag down across the stage. I don't know. I yeah. feel like the mash. I feel like you can mash out of everything. If you, you have can. a mash threshold, then you you're just can. not mashing. No, no. Oh dang, man! It's like that. Yeah. No excuses. <laughs> no excuses. All right. I had a really <laughs> long. You know what? I'll talk about it after this set. But I had a really long talk to Captain I'm L. I'm lazy as hell with my mashing. <laughs> you I can mash. I'm just good. like I'm good at it. When I mash, when I mash, I get out of grabs. But I just don't do it. <laughs> I just accept everything. <laughs> I've accepted my fate. <laughs> All right. So game number two. Game number two. Town and city, which uh is pretty interesting just because it has like such big blast zones and. Really, the Blast Zones weren't the issue for 10 old men. Sure. Yeah, so... I mean, he was really just got getting outplayed a lot in neutral. A lot of missed recoveries, such as that one, going very high. Not snapping directly to the ledge. Another high recovery there goes unpunished by Soul. And Soul just playing it clinically. And he tried to catch that high recovery there with the up smash. So he's just reading 10 old men all around. Okay, but there we see the Nair into forward air. Just putting a little bit more damage on Soul. So it's actually at kill percent. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what I want to see more of. Oh, oh, great. The Nair. That's what I want to see. More neutral airs. Oh, no. <laughs> Almost. Just barely outside of that range. But yeah, very unfortunate situation for 10 old men. It's going to wait it out on the platform. Of course, the longer you wait on that angel platform, the less invincibility you have once you drop down from it. Yeah, sometimes it's worth it, though. I mean, For you sure. Need Take the deep breaths. Take your deep breaths. Reset yourself. And then just remember that, you know, you... This is Smash Ultimate. Anyone can win at any moment. <laughs> Absolutely. Percent, stocks, none of that matters. It don't matter. <laughs> I love I love it when I get that three-stock comeback. Parry into the forward tilt and is going to send them off stage. Good direction. <laughs> dog. Just completely avoiding that fireball, which is giving him a lot of trouble in game one. And now he's retreat back to neutral. Yeah, that fireball is pretty much like like certain death for Ike. Oh, oh. He's, good. he's good, he's good. A yeah. lot, lot of vertical recovery on Ike's uh, upbeat. Yeah, but he did recover slightly high, and I saw Soul was going for the uh, forward tilt. Mash, my friend. Okay, he got it that he time. He got it that time. As you see, he said that, that was of ten men. That, that was because Soul was at a higher percent than ten old men was. That you can a you're able to mash faster. Oh. And the bigger the percent difference is, it's, yeah. it's easier to mash out of. It's just just like grabs. It's a little different, but. It, it, it's it's weird, man. It, his his mechanic is the only one like that in the Smash series. And here's oh. a down throw into Nair. Great grab combos coming out from Soul. You know, I think that yeah, was the skewer right there. That second he grab, it. he he waited to see what Ten Old Men would would do in Soul. Uh, well, Ten Old Men jumped out of it, so he's like, okay, Soul not opting for the for the skewer. Yeah, neutral air up tilt coming out for Ten Old Men. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, he's good. He's good. <laughs> Parry into the neutral air, throws out a single fireball with the F tilt. Look at all that safe pressure from Ridley. Really a master of ledge trapping. Also has incredible edge guarding potential as well. But ah. to, oh, and there it is. The F tilt finally landing on the up B recovery. Those recoveries have to be perfectly spaced, man. Like with with Ike, if you if you go up above the ledge, even just a smidge, you're leaving yourself open to get uh, punished like that. And that's what happened. Soul taking that two. Oh, victory. It's really unfortunate for, like, Ike and Krom players because it doesn't really take a big punish yeah. to really take no, the stock. You just need something that's just good enough. Yeah, with your jump gone, you already use your special, like, you don't have enough drift. It's... Just gotta hold that. <laughs> L. Oh. I hate the L. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome back, guys. We're sitting here at the Mango. My name is Edmund. This is Z-Fly. Excited to be commentating these Wave 1 Pools matches for you guys tonight. We have a lot of really talented players in this wave. Just some of the top ones. We got Eon, Elegant, K9, Raito coming from Japan. And as well as some notable mentions. Speaking one, we got one of the Ooh, I was about to say, we haven't really seen these players yet. But I'm pretty sure they're coming up because... Uh, you know, there's only so many matches in the bracket. We yeah. definitely want to showcase our top players as well. And the man of the hour, or one of the one of the top four that we have for, for this wave is going to be, in fact, Elegant. Elegant, man. Elegant, obviously renowned for his Luigi gameplay in Smash 4, was by far and none the best Luigi yes. in the game. 
Uh, he's making an argument for himself here in Ultimate now. Um, but, you know, it's still early. It's still early. So, we'll he, see. He's I, think, I think he's probably the best. I don't even know who uh, other, what other Luigi's there are. Is, there's a couple other Luigi's. I remember having this conversation with uh, Elegant while he was commentating with me. There's one in the East Coast, I believe, that's doing fairly well. Okay. I, I believe it. I mean, I, yes. I'm, I'm still learning about all the players Definitely across the different scenes. That Luigi is still a viable character. I mean, he was he had been saying it since the start of the game. And a lot of people were like, well, I don't know. Elegant, you don't have flesh anymore. Are you, are you sure about this? And... You know, he is a player that really stuck to his guns, sure. stuck to his word, and grinded out Luigi to the point where he is, in fact, a threat. Yeah, in the first few months, actually, he um, was struggling quite a bit, especially actually in his pool, in winner's finals of this pool, uh, to make it out. He's going to have to fight if the seeding goes as planned. He's going to have to fight Kiraflex, and he actually lost to Kiraflex in the only time they've ever played oh. early on in the game. So... You know, he had a, a rough beginning, but ultimately, he had faith. He's a character loyalist, and faith will move mountains. And he's just grinded it, as you said, and now he's showing the similar prowess that he had in the previous game. Okay, well, if he does, in fact, go, go against Kiraflex in finals, he may be playing a similar matchup. I feel like Kiraflex is going to...